Part 1. Preparation. Download Broadlink app. Search Broadlink in Google Play Store or Apple App Store to download the app. Some customers are still using the IHC app, here we strongly recommend you to try the new Broadlink app, no need to reset the devices, just sign in Broadlink, you can get all dates in the previous IHC app. Prepare the account. For the first time use, please sign up for an account by a mail address, then we choose Broadlink account to sign in. If you already have a Broadlink account, please tap Broadlink account to sign in. If you have linked the Google account or Apple ID, you can also use these to quickly sign in to your Broadlink account. Don't forget to check if you're using the right server when you sign in the account, or it will affect the normal use of some functions. Part 2. Add Device. We have two kinds of setup modes for this remote, one is AP Setup Mode, another is Smart Config Mode. If the LED indicator flashes intermittently, means device is in AP Setup Mode. If the LED indicator flashes quickly, means device is in Smart Config Mode. Now we start the setup of device. Tap Add Device on the home page. Or you can tap the plus at the upper right corner tap Add Device. For the first time use, the device will be in AP Setup Mode. AP Setup Guide. Tap Add Device, then tap Yes to proceed AP Setup. You can open the settings of your phone to confirm if you have connected to the right SSID. If the landing page pop up, please tap Use without internet to close the page. Then, back to the app and connect to the Wi-Fi in your home. Please notice, we only support 2.4 GHC Wi-Fi. Now you can name your device. For Android users, when the device is in AP setup mode, tap Add Device, the phone will begin to scan the hotspot of device automatically. This is very different from iOS users. Now you can add device to your room. If you have Broadlink sensor cable, please name the sub-device here, or you can tap Skip to proceed. Smart Config Guide. The status of LED indicator should be flashes quickly. Same as AP Setup, we need to tap Add Device first. Here for iOS users, you need to choose Cancel to enter the Smart Setup. The next steps are very similar to AP Setup. For Android users, when the device is in Smart Setup mode, just tap Add Device, choose the Wi-Fi in your home, and connect to your Wi-Fi. This is also different from iOS users. Enter the name and the password and connect to the Wi-Fi in your home. then you can name your device. R3 Use Device. Now we can start to use the device. RM4 Mini and RM4 Pro is totally new generation products of Broadlink in 2020. RM4 Mini is an IR Universal Remote, while RM4 Pro is an IR and RF Universal Remote. RM4 Mini with Sensor Cable and RM4 Pro with Sensor Cable support external temperature and humidity detection of the room where the device located, which will be displayed in Broadlink app. You can easily set triggers, such as turn on your air conditioner automatically when the temperature rises. These special packs only sell on Broadlink online store on Amazon. 
In Broadlink app, it's very easy for users to add appliances to the remote. There are two entrants. Tap the remote in the device list, tap add appliances. Or, you can tap the plus at the upper right corner, tap add remote. We can see three options on this page, tap IR and RF devices. Then we can see the remote added in the device list. Tap the remote, then you can select the appliance to add. The following steps are the same. Just select the appliance to add. Here we take a sharp projector for example. First, tap projector, we can see two notice. Please keep your router, phone and universal remote as close as possible when you add device. Then tap add appliance to proceed. Select the brand of your appliance in the official brand library. Normally we will provide three options for you to test. 95% of appliances can be matched automatically. Tap the button to try if it can be matched. Tap buttons to see if it works well, if the option doesn't work, please tap not work to test other options. Tap it works well to save the appliance. Then, you can choose the room of the appliance and name your device. The appliances you added will be considered as the sub-device of RM4 Pro, and you can control these sub-devices by voice in Google Home and Alexa app. Now you can start to use the device. Some buttons are displayed in gray, that because they are not associated with IR code and will not be functional. Just tap the gray button to learn it manually from the physical remote control can solve this problem. Follow the instructions on the app to proceed. First, choose the type of remote for your appliance, then start the button learning. Press the button once on your physical remote control, the LED indicator of RM4 Pro will flash once, which means it has received the signal from the physical remote control. Now click the button popped up on the app to see if you have successfully learned the button. When learning successfully, the button on the control page will become black. Use the same way to add all buttons. If you cannot find the type of appliance in our list, you can use UserDefined to add an appliance. First, add the remote to our device. Follow the instructions of the app to add function buttons. All operations are very similar to what we did before, choose the type of remote for your appliance, then start the button learning. The only difference is that the name and the icon of the button you've learned need to be set by yourself. Please notice that a user-defined remote doesn't support any third-party voice control. Broadlink, build your ideal smart life.